Hello and welcome to today's Wild Hearthstone deck tech and gameplay video on an update to Death Rattle Hunter. Death Rattle Hunter wants to use one of our three quote big death rattles in Dark Moon Tonk, Card Toop Defender, or Naval Mine to do either damage to our opponent's face in the case of the mine, to our opponent's face and or board in the case of the Dark Moon Taunt, and if we need some healing to just not die from the more aggressive decks, Cartoon Defender does that as well. And with these big death rattles, we basically want to trigger them early and often as we possibly can. We can use new cards like Yellow Yodeler and some other cards like Monstrous Parrots, Firework Tech, and Play Dead to trigger them additional times. Besides that general game plan of triggering our death rattles loads of times, we also have some controlling cards to sort of help us survive the interim setup sort of required, your harpoon guns for removal and sorting out some card draw, deadly shot and some uh, freezing and explosive traps, and even conjured arrows to sort of clear the board, and bits of card draw like your stitch trackers and tracking itself to sort of bind the whole thing together. With that out of the way, don't forget to like the video if you like it, subscribe if you like my grab bag of content and would like to see more in the future. And with that out of the way, we'll go straight into game number one. And game number one with our little Death Rattle Hunter. Uh, for the most part, uh, the Freezing Trap might not be the most useful, as no mages are really aggressive ones. But for the most part, we'll, we'll keep this hand. It's nice to have a Tonk, so you don't have to go digging for it. For the most part, admittedly the Play Dead might not be the greatest, but... That's this being the core of what a deck wants to do. It's a good thing to get, just go ahead and keep. As well as drawing a tracking on turn one. Very nice to sort of smooth out our draws, find things to do, all of that. Hopefully our opponent will choose and decide what they want. Hopefully they're also, you know, real and not in fact an AI or robot of some description. But I can't be too upset at our opponent since I've, I've done the same thing. I get it, you know, phone calls, bathroom breaks that are sudden, for lack of for, without being too, you know, vulgar, stuff like that. There we go from our opponent. Although that might have just been the AFK timer for the choice. Okay, no, they're here. They 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 actively passed that. Drawing a naval mine is great. I don't think we need to use the tracking then, since now we have things to do in the opening turns. Let's see what our opponent does. Okay, Secret Mage is, can be iffy, since our deck requires some setup, and Secret Mage is very good at disrupting that setup. Go ahead and play the naval mine. If nothing else, in the interim, we're just going to start trying to set up and do what we can here and there to get through the secrets, though really you can only do so much in that vein. Yeah, that's not great. We would likely just be playing the harpoon gun if I had to take a wild guess. Get rid of the biggest thing on their board. Let's see what we draw. A yodeler is pretty good. It does give us something to do next turn, so we'll go ahead and play the yodeler. Okay, that's not a bad getaway, Kodo. If nothing else, we can... If we really need to, we can always coin and play dead on any given turn. That's less good. I think we will just have to stick with the original plan of uh, using the Yodeler. If it gets objected, then that's fine. We have to get through the secret at some point. Yeah. We have to get through those secrets at some point, so... Better than doing nothing. And for the most part, we can live without the Yodeler. It's nice, but as long as we get like a Tonk on the board, or, you know, our other myriad ways of like making this sort of happen. Okay, this is like. It's like fine. There we go. Now we're, we're cooking. That's more what I expected to see. Not going to go well. Another mine's pretty good. Might as well go ahead and throw it a tester. 
trade off what we can. Oh, we'll waste this ally. Okay. It's not that relevant. Um, I think we'll do the parrot because I don't think we're going to get the ability to choose. So right now, yeah, we're just going to make the best of a bad situation. To be fair, Secret Mage is yeah, just is a bad matchup. But we're not like immediately dead, which, you know, is saying something. Yeah, I think we might just play the Cartoot Defender and then coin that play dead. Because it's the only way we don't die. Even then, we might still die, which is not great. So, yeah, go ahead and play the Cartoot. Hopefully, it's not a counter spell. I don't. I think that actually just kills us. Yeah, to be fair, Secret Mage, is a... Secret Mage is a bad matchup. It's not a whole lot you can do from it. But this is. Uh, a true statement, you know, outside of this deck, any deck that requires like a, a degree of setup in my experience to like work is just going to get preyed on by, you know, the existence of secrets. It is an unfortunate reality, but it's, you know, it's fine. But with that, admittedly, pr <laughs> pretty sad game. We'll go ahead and go on to game number two, and I will make sure it's like an actual game. And not just like a blowout like this is. <laughs> Anywho, on to game number two. And game number two with our little death rattle hunter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw back everything. Since in my experience, nine times out of ten, any druid you face is doing some goofy, degenerate, gadget Xanox shinier combo thing that just kills you on turn six to where you don't have like any real recourse. So... And, and I guess, to be fair, it's one of those, eh, it could technically be something different. Again, maybe one out of ten druids might be some interesting little, like, aggressive list, but more often than not, it isn't that. Go ahead and track. A naval mine's honestly pretty good. Now we have something to do on turn two. We can always coin out the yodeler on turn three. If nothing else, we might be able to take advantage of the fact that we are going to have some turns, like, largely uninterrupted. They do run some removal, but usually, in my experience, a lot of that removal is used to kill their own things and generate more mana with the Floop's Glorious Gloop card thing. There is that one weird choose one silence immune creature that I've been seeing, like, run in the main board, which is... Absolutely goofy. Okay, but what are we doing here? We don't. It wouldn't be. We wouldn't love it if this gets killed. But you know, a death rattle going off is a death rattle going off. Does have to be said. Of course, our opponent is probably just milking the. Uh, I guess you call it the clock. Okay, yeah, they're doing goofy mill shit. That's fine. Uh, yeah, in that case, our plan is the same. Just do what we can to aggressively continue our little battle plan here. And if our opponent is going to give us cards with, like, cold lights and dew processes, and uh, I've even seen some forest guides and stuff, if our opponent's going to give us cards to use, then we really got to make use of them. I mean, we don't want to be rude. They gave us a gift. We might as well use it to bonk them in the head with, with explosives. <laughs> in the case of this particular matchup. Ah yes, first as hell. What a boring ass card. Okay, that's technically different. It's one of those that's fine, that's that resolves. Uh still gonna keep our game plan here. Just mines and explosives, just generally pointed at our opponent's face, is about the best one can hope to do. Okay, to our opponent's credit, they're not, like, doing totally degenerate stuff. I mean, it's a druid, a certain amount of degeneracy is damn near required, but you know, we, we'll, we'll take that. In the meantime, we're just going to conjure to error away their oracle and deadly shot their big Nerubian boy. Just go face. 
the longer this game goes on anyway, the lesser and lesser our chance of winning is. But yeah, they're not doing anything too crazy. I guess they could, like, do that flipper friends thing with the otters with the brush and, like, Ooh. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna re retract my, my shit talking. I'm I'm clearly in the wrong here. Our opponent is actually doing something kind of interesting. So we'll take that. Okay. Uh it's not that bad. I guess we can just do dual Nathanos Blight Caller. Give me some mines. Just go bonking heads over and over. If they are going down some Jade Idol route, I think we have some time to, like, especially, I know we already talked about this earlier, but if they're doing just some, you know, like, control -y going for some Jade Idol late game thing, then, like, we have time to, like, do our little set up here, which is nice. It is what we want to do. Admittedly, I mean, I guess it's still possible they could have some, like, Mechathune thing, or maybe some Tog Waggly thing, but they, they aren't, they don't appear anyway, to be as, like, aggressive as some lists are. Solar Eclipse into an ass ton of armor gain? Due process. Okay, maybe they are... Okay, now, they're, they're, they're playing with my heart here. It has to be said. But, like, we're doing okay. Maybe they're just drawing, like, really bad. Which we take this. <laughs> I'm not, like, that adverse to a win here. Okay, that sucks. Sucks a little less. In that case, yeah, we're just gonna play bombs and trigger them a lot. Eight damage. Do a play dead. I mean, I would. It doesn't even matter if they're. I. I don't even know if they could be Reno. I haven't been paying that much attention. But it's true. It. They could just like, uh, the solar card. Okay. Yeah. They are doing the, the generic shit. But yeah, they can gain an absolutely fucking ridiculous amount of armor in a turn if they want. But they're. Yep. Yeah, they are doing the flipper friends thing. So I called it. I just didn't call it at the right time. Yeah, he can't... He, I think he almost has to kill me this turn, right? Because if he doesn't, I just hit him with a fireworks tech and blow up my mine. Yeah, you can actually sort of mill all the cards you want. Like, I mean, it not, never feels good to mill cards, but like... Unless they have some sort of... Okay, he might actually have the nuts here. Okay. Is there a gadget Zen auctioneer floating around in there somewhere? Okay, I knew there was I knew there was some armor game. But I think we're doing good, right? I have one, two, three, that's twelve. Plus okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think we can do this here. How are how are we gonna do this? Okay, I think our plan remains largely the same. Gonna start firework teching, and I can trade. I can now trade. I gotta make sure I, I kill it when I trade, though. So if I do the tech again, it'll still die when I trade it in. I can play dead it again, and then when I trade it in, he dies, taking four damage. All right, hell yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. Our opponent actually did end up, you know, doing the degenerate thing, so I don't nearly feel less bad. <laughs> it's one of those, we'll take that win. Um, this has been a, a somewhat short video, and I'm, you know, I got time today, and I'm feeling pretty good. So we'll go on to a game, number three. And game number three, with our little death rattly uh, hunter, I almost said druid. Um, hmm. The parrot's not that good early on. We're going to keep the cartoon defender in case it's like a pirate thing and we we need the life. Or, well, 
It's not the life. The, we'll say the healing. I was gonna say the life steal, but that's not what's happening technically. But yeah, a couple explosive traps. That's not bad. And this will be a good showing if you know my initial. What's the word? If my initial call was in fact correct, this will be a good game to show what you do against more aggressive decks. As to Wild's credit, at least at my level, hanging around silver, I might get gold again this month. But really, down here in, in the lower stories, if you will, there the, the meta's in like an okay spot. Yeah, every once in a while you run into one of the aforementioned like really degenerate druid decks or stuff like that, but. In reality, I'm having fun. A carrying study is great. Something to do on turn one. Get some stuff to do. Uh, hmm. I think we'll do a forward ring. The tunnel blaster was... What's the word? Was like... I would say convincing, but what's... The, like? Uh, anywho, it, it, it was a real toss-up between that and the Tunnel Blaster. But we already have the Cartoon Defender. But there's an argument that we want the Tunnel Blaster for the Death Rattle AoE thing. I'm not going to use the Explosive Trap. I want them to summon like, uh, like a, uh, a Swordfish Dude, whatever the hell that one drop's called. You know, maybe some patches. I want to get some more mileage out of our particular little... Yeah, explosive trap. Yeah, we're gonna get some value now. Hell yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, explosive trap all day long. Also, I mean, the tail end is in fact just a taunt that'll draw me a tonk, if nothing else. Now, this is the million dollar question. Okay, he does just rip the band-aid off immediately. Which is fine, that's an option. If he doesn't play a whole lot of other creatures, I think we're just going to arrow down the ship's cannon, because that thing will absolutely mess us up. Uh, maybe we'll do the harpoon gun, actually. We can afford to take a turn off. Um, honestly, yeah, just, just the arrow. If nothing else, just for the removal spell. Next turn, if nothing else, we can just play a cartoon defender. That's fine. Um, I'm assuming that's Swordfish. The actual weapon. Uh, whatever the Filet Fighter is, I think, what I was talking about. The one mana, one three thing that ETBs and pinks. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the Defender. We don't like trading in, but we, we have to. It's just being responsible. Um... I think we're going to mulligan and just take a tracking. Turn 6, we can always yelling yodeler to just gain a good chunk of life. Assuming our thing lives, which, granted, is not a given. Wow. Okay, that had to be really good for you to not take that. Yeah, I, I, I question the decision making there on that one, but okay. To be fair, it could have just all been awful. So yeah, I think we're gonna. Do we... I guess we draw first to be responsible. Uh. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get the other card too. That's fine. Go ahead and yodel. I think we will go ahead and trade. We just want to, like, know what we're going to get here. We have a good, like, selection of options of what to do next turn. Sadly, the conjured arrows are, like, getting a little weird. Alright, okay. Hang on, in that case, I think... Trade into the captain. Then 
and I think we can do a Talon and a Freezing Trap. The Puffer Fist is not actually the most impactful right now due to our Cartooth, our, our, our Defender basically gaining us a whole bunch of life. We're actually like in an okay spot health-wise. Another Swordfish. See, this will tell us at least what he's going to draw next turn. He's drawing a pirate or a weapon. Probably a pirate. Honestly, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we can always conjure an arrow away their shiny finder. A naval might's very big. We will go ahead and do the arrow first, as that's, in this instance, is basically drawing cards first. Getting some... I think we're at a kind of okay spot to, well, yeah, we're going to play a mine, go looking with tracking. Eh, sure, we'll do a fireworks tech, why not? I think we can start actually turning the corner here and really applying some pressure to our opponent to close out the game. And now, I believe this... Yeah, I'll, I just need the Death Rattle to trigger, so this should give me an extra 4 damage. Sort of just for free. That's aggressive. Okay, well, now, actually, it'll just draw me a card. That's fair. That's actually... Well, that's fine. That's a, a fine problem to have. Why? Hang on, let me... Let me, let me think about this. So I can trade. Hmm. You know, I think we're actually in an okay spot. I think I'm just going to Conjured Arrow, getting rid of their 5-1. There might be a lethal in here, but my brain... Oh, okay, now we just have it. Now there's definitely a lethal, so we're just going to go faced and trigger our minds a couple times. Also, yeah, that's a, a great game. And honestly, like, a, a pretty fair matchup from our opponent. Like, it was an aggressive deck, and we sort of had to assume the controlling role, wait till we get to a point where we can, you know, turn the corner and apply pressure. This is a, a, a great game, honestly, and a pretty good end to the video. So don't forget to like that said video if you liked it. And subscribe if you like my grab bag of content and would like more in the future. And if you have any sort of questions like, I don't have X, what about Y, in terms of like card replacements or other nice comments, I'll do what I can to reply to each. Now, before I go, in regards to the whole card replacement thing, I of course I still will answer, you know, if you have a nice question about asking about what to replace. But I have done past versions of this, as this is as this is a updated version of a previous list. So if you don't have some cards, go ahead and look back at an older version and maybe you have something closer to an older version that you could play. Because really, while the deck you know did get better, if all you can do is get an older version of the list, that old versions are just fine too. <laughs> now, without out of the way, thank you all, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.